Alright lads, this is Fenner from Frenetic Ray and I got another replay cast for you guys. And this time it's on a fairly unique map that you may not have seen, so we're just gonna have a quick look around this map before we introduce the players. Um, we've got a scan to be in here. Um, but basically, um, I haven't actually played this map myself, so looking at it, it's gonna be pretty interesting. We've got the main here, uh, nice and big. Uh, pull first going down for that Zerg player who we haven't announced yet. And then we've got the natural here, and then the third base. Let's have a look. We've got rocks here. And this map's called Grand Lagoon, by the way. I believe it's in the GSL right now, or it might just be in Casper. I haven't actually seen it played, so it's kind of unique to me. I believe, yeah, you're going to have to take this third base, which is quite a trip. So holding this third base against all in is going to be quite hard, especially if they come in from this angle. It seems pretty tight to go through there, but the, the rest of it's pretty open around here, so you can defend that pretty well. And... Then you got the fourth base over here, which is blocked by rocks. And then I assume this is the fifth base here with the scan to be set on it. So it kind of looks like a wide version of Ohana. In fact, yeah, that that's pretty decent, accurate description of the map. You got you got the easy three bases, and then you got the fourth base, which is kind of in the middle on the left. And then you've also got the one. Yeah, this is kind of like Ohana, except it's really wide. Like Ohana is like super thin, and this is wide. So let's anyway let's let's introduce these players who've spent enough talking long enough talking about the map. But it's ZVP, so it always takes long to get underway. But basically, I wanted to check out a replay from this guy. Who is it? It is Ace Nuccio. And in fact, I'm going to talk about him, but first of all, let's introduce the other guy. This guy is genius. So why did I want to check out Nurcho? Basically, Nurcho is a sick, sick beast, but I've never really checked out many of his games. So I really wanted to have a look at his style and what kind of style he plays, because I've only seen a few of his games. And I'm pretty sure he plays very, very standard, but he does so, so well, like his results are really really good especially considering he's at university as well and also yeah he i was checking before this game and he is one of the he is the top three european earner behind stefano who's ranked one by far he's earned like two hundred thousand plus in tournament winnings and then in second place is mana who was very 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 close to nurture both earning about ninety thousand dollars in tournament winning so Nurcio and Mana um, basically tied for second place in tournament winnings and let's have a look what what's going on here we've got Nurcio taking a look at what's going on pretty pretty standard stuff I believe it was Nexus first then Forge then Gate and then Cybercore and double gas in the main as well so very very standard from both these players fast three hatch from Nurcio and Genius as well I haven't seen Genius for a long time I'm not sure if he's still an MVP um, I should have checked that out. I never checked. I'm going to have to start checking before games, like just researching the players a bit more. Because I believe that is a big flaw in my casting, not knowing <laughs> what team the player is actually on. But I don't believe he's on MVP anymore. Um, I don't see him hanging around with hanging around with Dong Gu at least anymore. And both of these players just kind of trying to get the watchtowers. And these watchtowers don't actually see that much compared to other maps. You can sneak around the side here on both sides, which is why... This attack path uh, coming into the third is going to be really, really strong if it's like some immortal sentry or something like that. Especially with that really tight opening coming into the third base. That's going to be really painful if it's an immortal sentry or something like that. We've got double gas coming for Genius right now. And is Nurcio going to see that? He's coming in to take a peek now. He's going to see that and he's going to be like, oh, this is some, oh, go further, go further. Yeah, there we go. He sees the double gas nice and early, so he doesn't need to throw down a roach run right now, but he is. Um, he's just being really safe. I don't believe you need it that early if you scout the double gas that early. But um, he did scout it a bit late because his overlord was slightly out of position. But um, he did see it by 7 minutes, so he should know right now that it's either going to be... It's going to be some heavy gas build. It can either be... Well, there's a lot of heavy gas builds. Heavy gas builds is Sentry Mortal Expand, Sentry Mortal All In, and they're like the two most popular in the meta game right now. And then there's also the other popular build in the meta game, which is opening Stargate and then opening Fall Phoenix. And they're like the the three main, really common, popular builds right now for Protoss vs Zerg. Um, also, yeah, Fall Phoenix Expand. Um, and Sentry Mortal Expand, but it looks like he's gonna throw on the gates, and this is most likely gonna be a Sentry Mortal, and we've got seven gates now, along with the Immortals as well, and once this third, third Immortal pops, 
he should move out along with a uh, along with a warping of sentries as well should be another four sentries coming in and then he'll move out and then the pressure gets on the nurture um, how's he gonna how's he gonna get the immortals out um I'm gonna look really really stupid in a second when he just walks them out yeah <laughs> that didn't look like a gap I was like whoa <laughs> oh man I look really stupid right now that definitely did not look like a gap to me but um, he just walks them out makes me look stupid and Nurture has the tower he knows this is a sentry model right now let's have a look at his drone count 61 that's a really nice amount for holding two base all in so he's got the right drone count um, he's also got Ling Speed and Roach Speed on the way, but it's all going to come down to positioning for Nurture. He's got good creep spread as well, which is going to help him out a lot. Pushing it out around this third base, which is really nice because that attack path is going to be really strong if Genius decides to go that way. But this is all going to come down to positioning, baiting force fields. Nurture needs should put Roaches up there, Roaches here, Roaches over here. Get a lot of Lings, a lot of Lings as well. Try and bait the force fields and then just get a really, really nice 360 degree attack with his roaches if he just attacks head on it's not going to be a good position for nature but genius is coming down the ramp now nature has got a nice two-prong attack coming up here but genius can move back up that round with the force fields not the best force fields though nature's units getting in and he's able to pick off a few centuries here is he going to focus them no he's going for the immortal i think that's a bad decision because you can never kill those immortals they can just get away but he does manage to pick it off actually getting one immortal there but still two immortals alive and he did actually do quite a bit of damage with that because Genius force fields weren't perfect, but Genius has got to be perfect on those force fields now if he wants to continue this attack. And it Nurture should really send some units around. He's even got the creep up there as well, so he had to do a six sick attack. But he's going from this side as well, and that's going to be nice. But um, he's, he's not got these units in position either. He's just attacking with these. These these units need to be in the battle as well, Nurture. Come on, man. Um, it looks like he's just poking with these, trying to bait a few force fields. Um, he's running away now. I'm not sure if he's got his bind. Yeah, there we go. He's sorted it out now. He's got two spines coming up as well. Um, let's have a quick look at that. Two spines coming up here. So he can get to defend that third really nicely. Just baiting force fields with these roaches. I really, really like it. As long as he can get a good position. Nurture going for it now. But that's not the best position. He should have sent him around this side. So we get a 360 round. Now he's only got one attack path. And those force fields are going to be really nice for Genius. Just keeping a few units locked in. Whilst the rest of the units just waddle around at the back. And now I think Genius is slowly starting to take the lead into this game, even though his first false fields weren't that great. He's Infestor Pit coming up for Nature now. If he can get Infestors up, um, delay for long enough, then he can do a lot of damage. But Genius, he's got a really scary army right now. He hasn't got that many force fields left. If Nurture can bait a few more, then Genius might not be able to attack for a long time. But a lot of units getting picked up for Nurture. That's a lot of roaches to lose to an immortal sentry. And now Genius is starting to take over in the supply lead, which is massive, especially when it's a mortal sentry against pure roach roach is being a massive supply heavy unit we've got two spines here two more coming up but genius should be able to put the killing blow and that's a lot of units man holy crap we've got more stalkers than roaches and we have got lings out as well we've got immortals and zealots and sentries as well i think this is game over for nature he has got a decent concave but with the force fields as well in fact genius doesn't even need force fields gg well played from nature anyway it is EG Jadong Raid Call. So this is just a ladder game on Korea. Uh, Jadong was streaming at the time and Moonglade hit him on ladder, so it's definitely actually Moonglade vs Jadong, even though we both see that they've both got barcodes here. And let's talk about some achievements from Jadong. I mean, I've got the um, achievement accomplishment.